think I'm getting to. Oh, this is a nice spot. I like it. Yes, no? Yeah, <laughs> We're gonna good. look a little bit funny. It's on? Yeah. Oh boy. Alright. Um, <laughs> yeah, cool that we're taking some time. Yes, <laughs> of course. Um, I have two questions. Yeah. And the first one is why do you surf? <laughs> um, I come from Switzerland, so obviously there's no like obvious connection to surfing, oh. right? My um, first contact with surfing was like through videos and pictures. Okay. I always had a big poster on my wall, yeah. and I still have it here now. <laughs> okay. Um, of I don't know who it is, but a big wave surfer, and I was so impressed by it. So I was always kind of fascinated by just this picture and I wanted to try and then also another thing is we didn't really go to the ocean when I was a child but um, we went to the Mediterranean or to okay. lakes and then mm -hmm. my mom said yeah you can always you could just leave me in the same spot for two hours and I would still be there afterwards as a kid because I was just watching the waves bum, bum. I was so fascinated by okay. it and I still am and I think the combination of this mm -hmm. is um, when I why I tried surfing when I was 18 mm -hmm. finally mm -hmm. and it was in Portugal and yeah and then of course other factors mm -hmm. came to into place why I surf it's of course the ocean is still fascinating me a lot mm -hmm. and just it's so different every day and and to like find a good wave and um, surf it and, and be alone there or, or with other people and share the experience and just the ocean is so it's just a good teacher I think <laughs> it teaches you so many things like being humble or patient and puts you back into place if you think you're too good <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> or if you have a too mm -hmm. high um, expectation of yourself um, and that's why I surf for sure and I also like to surf because it's a good um, workout just, yeah. I just love to do sports ever since I'm a child and and I just like it if I get physically like tired mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's why I surf too because I, I love the feeling afterwards after surfing your whole body is kind of like in pain but it's such a happy pain mm -hmm. <laughs> if yeah, something yeah, yeah. like this exists um, that you can always um, sleep so well afterwards and then still in the bed when you feel the waves kind of it's the best it's just yeah. the best feeling on earth that it gives you surfing cool yeah. cool <laughs> cool yeah um good the my second question to you mm -hmm. is the future of surfing yes what does that mean for you um for me personally the future of surfing for me is i hope i can surf until i'm 80 years old <laughs> so i try to keep fit and adapt to whatever my body wants and that's my personal future of surfing. Mm -hmm, and i mm -hmm. hope i can make it i saw in california these ladies with the long boards and they had these gloves you know with the like to swim the fins okay and then um, with the long gray hair and i was just sitting there i was like I want to be like that when wow, I'm old. <laughs> that is so cool, yeah. yeah. So that's my personal future of surfing. Um, I think um, for the Swiss people surfing, it's going to evolve a lot in the next few years as well. There's already a lot of people surfing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but it's going to change uh, because we will get a wave pool in okay. Switzerland. And so people don't have to go all the way to the ocean anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think the level will rise as well mm -hmm. and of course introducing a wave pool to Switzerland and um, it has its pros and cons obviously and also that factor of the ocean kind of goes away it's a static wave it's just not a static but it's always the same mm -hmm. and so it will sure improve the level of surfing mm -hmm. hopefully mine too when I can train there yeah um, so and then generally I think surfing is going to become like much more known it's already very like it's I think every person in his life kind of I don't know 75% think they have to try it once already mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. and I think by now when the sport gets Olympic it gets even more known mm -hmm. and also um, I don't know people will see it in different eyes probably as well because it gets olympic it's more the competitive side of mm -hmm. surfing mm -hmm. that you see so that gets kind of promoted and um i guess more people start to try and get into the olympics or start competing mm -hmm. in surfing mm -hmm. which is
good for a sport, right? It raises the level. But in general, I think it makes um, the beauty kind of disappear because it's always against each other. And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, I just love surfing as well because it's just something you do. You connect with the ocean, you connect maybe with other people, you share it. And it's just so much more peaceful to just surf without thinking about competition or the being against somebody. Or I think it's maybe going to change a little bit towards more competitive, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. more in the water, also different, like the people fight more or I don't know. It's, I think it's still going to grow a lot mm -hmm, also mm -hmm. due, to, due to the Olympics. And, and yeah, I hope technology advances a little bit in surfing too. So, because surfers are actually, most of them are pretty environmentally conscious, mm -hmm. like they know what's happening because you spend so much time in nature, you see the plastic that's in the ocean, mm -hmm. and also, um, yeah, you see just the nature changing because you spend so much time, so I hope by growing, like by the growth of the surfing population, the community, that it's going to be also easier to to get those topics like to be more aware of those topics and also for a country like switzerland that doesn't really see effects of like the whole change that's mm -hmm, going on mm -hmm. so that these people that are going to the ocean and are traveling mm -hmm. and uh, come back and really tell people hey it's it's a problem you know it's like the tra tra um, transport the message to places where yeah. There's no there's, ocean. There's no ocean, yeah. <laughs> uh, but just to make it like a, make people aware of that. And so I hope that's also going to be one of the consequences of making it more famous and more yeah. people doing it. And more people confronted with it. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So that's what I think. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Super. Yeah. Super. Okay. Yeah. I think we got our five minutes. I think so too. I think we have a lot more. <laughs> Really? Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Good. <laughs>